Hi, I'm Jamie Philbrook with IamRogue.com. I'm here at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory talking to Jonathan Nolan, the writer of, screenwriter of Interstellar, and Kip Thorne. Uh, how, how would we introduce you? Kip. Kip, <laughs> Kip. But scientist? Or? Okay, he, yeah, theoretical physicist, uh, executive producer on the film, uh, but I've had a 50-year career yeah. as, a, as a physicist. I was a physics rock star. That's, that's how physics I was. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Physics rock star. <laughs> great. Well, let me begin by asking you, Jonathan, because I understand that the idea for the film came from a previous idea you had put in another script and also influenced by Kip's work. Could you talk about how those elements came together to create Interstellar? No, I think you may be referring to, you know, when, when my brother Christopher came onto the project, oh, he okay. sort of, you know, as he, as he always uh, always does, has always been thinking about something a little bit like what we were working on. But Kip and I, from the beginning, in fact, Kip was on the project before I was. Uh, um, and the idea f with the project from the very beginning was to try to do a film about space exploration uh, and get the science right from the very beginning. So rather than, writing a script and, and asking a prominent scientist to kind of wave a magic wand over it or sign off on it. The project originated with conversations between um, Kip and myself and Linda Obst, one, one of the film's producers, um, talking about the, the, the weird and wild things that you find out there in the cosmos and, and what, what that might mean in terms of mankind's uh, ability to survive out there. Well, and Kip, how did you enjoy, after all these years of working in science, enjoy kind of working in the movie business and working with Jonathan on the script? Well, I think the key thing is that I got to work with some brilliant people, extremely creative people who are not scientists, and that's so refreshing, so very refreshing. And uh, the interactions are just exciting to uh, throw ideas around with Jonah, uh, to uh, come up with... Uh, some thoughts which he then bats around and distorts and then I distort them <laughs> more and ultimately something grows some, out of this that is, that, 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 that is interstellar. So did you guys come up with the concept together or Jonathan did you sort of in the writing process say to Kip hey I was thinking about doing this but how would that work? How did you guys work together as well with Christopher on the writing process of the screenplay? It's a very organic process. Kip, Kip and, and Linda had been talking about um, and developing ideas for how, how the film, you know, the, the kind of story we, we might tell. And then I came into it with, uh, w w with a couple of ideas of my own in terms of when, when our story might begin, what chapter in the sort of human story we might start our story and where we might end it. Um, and then Kip and I just got down to the business of talking it through and, 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 and really, you know, trying to find the most audacious and, 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 and uh, exciting aspects of space and 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 the obstacles that 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 you know that, that humanity will face as we start to leave this one place that we've existed from from the very beginning and and start spreading out across the cosmos. But by the time uh, everything was finished, the story was completely changed <laughs> by Jonathan and his brother Christopher. Uh, so the science that we had begun with, Lyndon Opes and I at the very beginning. Uh, plus a lot of science that came out of my discussions with Jonah and then from Chris, from Christopher. Uh, that was all in there. But the story, the human story in there is really Jonah's and Chris's. But we got the science right. The science is right. That's what's and, important. Well, it's not just that the science is right. It's that the science is integrated in, into the film, into the fabric of the film, very deeply uh, and in a highly creative way that uh, fits so beautifully with the human story. I mean, it's, it's incredible uh, to have that merging of this human story with yeah. the science and the way it's been done. Yeah, it's a great movie. Well, congratulations. An honor Thank meeting you. you. Thank you. Jonathan, Thank always you. great talking to you. Thank you so much.